Well, the air is chilly, but the action has been hot all day here at the Merck Arends Provincial Ski Park in beautiful Brookvale, Prince Edward Island. Tonight, the finals of the men's and women's big air competition goes. What a day it's been. I'm here joined once again by my colleague, Sean Woodley. Sean, the time has come. Some hardware will be given out tonight. We're down to the finals. Yeah, you feel like after seeing these athletes already today, both in the slope style qualifications and in the big air qualifications, that you got a good handle on, all right, these are the, the athletes who are going to be in the mix for the medals. But of course, with big air, there's always room for surprises. There's very little margin for error, just two runs each for these athletes, one jump for all the marbles. Execution is going to be massively important. That's an understatement as we get rolling here with big air as we get a look at the start list. Day. And here is Millie Hoffman of Ontario in on the big air track. Gets that 540 down. We'll see on the replay how well she was able to convert that grab. That's a big part of it. If the judges see you go for a grab, they want to see you complete it. Millie Hoffman's score is in for that first jump. 67.20 the score on the board for Millie. A solid score for sure. Doesn't quite match the 75 she qualified with, but it's on the board. And that's important early on here. Here's Kristen Hoivik. Coming in switch to the jump. From Team BC. Oh, sorry. Landed switch on the jump, that is. There you and go. she is in the lead now officially. 71.60 the score. As we, there will be bigger scores. Surely dropped. Here is Aiden Fraser of Alberta. She's certainly capable of them. Excellent jump by Aiden. Beautiful Fraser. landing there. She's got to be happy with that jump, no doubt about it. Really strong qualifying jump. And Aiden Fraser has moved into first place with a 75.20, so that is now the score to beat for gold. The execution of these tricks, we've seen very few failures to get these tricks landed. Wow. And once again here, Evelyn Mully coming in. Looks like the 540. We'll see on the replay. From Alberta. So there we see Zoe making her way down the hill, getting some great speed. Beautiful jump. Two full rotations, 720 landed there for Zoe. We will see. On the replay, of course, always tells you with the grabs. Pete's had a very good day. Third qualifying here in big air. Third and qualifying in slope style as well. Head to tomorrow's final. And that looks like the full 900, two and a half rotations. She's happy with it. Beautiful looking jump there from Jordan Pete. Very much a medal contender here. That 900 rotation. Here comes Ava Aubrey. Jordan Pete is in with a 72 on her score. And, and that's landed successfully here for Ava Aubrey. We'll get a look at the replay there, and she's got to be happy to get a trick in as well. Ava Aubrey, her score is in 74.4. That's good for third. She sits in the bronze medal slot as it stands with one skier left in run number one. So here it comes. Dropping in switch, the first athlete we've seen do this so far today. Very nice. Looks like she got the 700 mute, 720 mute in there. Naomi, her score is in. Naomi Ernest, third place with a 75, even a good safety score. She's on the podium through one run. We would Nelly Hoffman. Gaining terrific speed. Looks like two full rotations. Didn't get a grab in there, but a 7.20 to wrap up the big air competition for Millie Hoffman. She's at a 59 for that second jump, which means she will finish this competition in eighth place to go. Here's Kristen Hoivik. Kristen Hoivik from British Columbia. Gaining some speed off that kicker. She got, it looks like the two and a half rotations for the 900 down there. Let's take a look at the replay to check out the landing once again. 
Oivik's second score is in. It's a slightly higher than her 7160. It's a 7180. She's still in seventh place and will finish there. Comes Fraser now getting speed, approaching the jump. Quite and all the way around. we'll have to check out that landing there. It might have been a bit of a hand swipe. We'll see. She was seemingly trying to go pretty big with the rotation there. Aiden Fraser's second score. That landing did come back to hurt her. 54-20 on the board, so her 75-20 will hold up. She's still in second place in silver medal position, but plenty of skiers to come who could spoil her medal placing. Evelyn Mully. Your current gold medal holder, Evelyn Mully, lands that beautifully. She's thrilled. She's pumped. And that could very well serve to boost her 84 score, which currently has her in gold medal position. Some big time competitors coming up. But let's take a look here. And she's slightly improved upon it as well, going from an 84 to an 84.60. That is the new gold medal score to beat. Naomi Ernest in the bronze medal position at 75. That's the spot to get onto the podium. Three, four skiers left, all of whom have a chance at doing something big here. Here's Zoe Grease Kazuki. Picking up speed. Approaching the jump. Not oh, able to and land she it. just can't stick it. She was going big. She had a ton of amplitude on that jump. She comes and comes to a stop. She's all good at the bottom of the hill there. Zoe scores in a 25, so of course her 73-20 will hold up. That has her in fifth position right now. Jordan Pete's in sixth. 72 on her first run. Here she goes. She's aiming for a medal. Good speed coming into the jump. Massive air, massive rotation. She's happy with what she's done here. Hands up. I don't even know if she could believe what she just pulled off. But that was a good looking jump. That might be a metal worthy jump for Jordan Pete. Let's get another look. No laying up for Jordan Pete. Play to finish off Big Air, and it just might win her gold. 89.60, the score is in for Jordan Pete. Now the gold medal score to beat with just two skiers remaining. 89.6 bumps Evelyn Mully down to second place. Aiden Fraser's in the bronze medal spot now as Ava Aubrey drops in. Two skiers left, but two very good skiers. Here comes Ava Aubrey. The two best arguably all day, you would say. Here's Aubrey. Pretty solid, didn't quite get the same level of rotation that we saw from Jordan Pete, just the 720 as opposed to the 900, which is the two and a half rotations. Third place, Ava Aubrey moves up into the bronze medal spot, a 7820 on the board. So that'll be what Naomi Ernest needs here to hit the podium. She needs an 89.6 as she drops in for the final jump in the big air competition. Looking for gold. She'll come and switch as she has all afternoon and evening. She completes the 720, doesn't get the third rotation around. She doesn't look too pleased. It's going to take more than 720, you would think, to supplant Jordan Pete atop the podium. That might not be enough to get on the podium for Naomi here. It's such a razor-thin margin in the final like this. You're not always going to have the best luck. A 71-20 comes in, so that is all she wrote. Jordan Pete of BC is your gold medal winner. Evelyn Mully of Alberta at 84-60 in second place. And Ava Aubrey in third for Ontario with the bronze. A 78-20. Robbie, what an incredible finish here. What a great jump by Jordan Pete to win the gold. Well, you can see it all, everybody down there talking about it, supporting each other there. Jordan Pete, what a performance. Unbelievable. But you know what? 
I've done the flight before. If you're flying to PEI from British Columbia, you want to make it worth your while. And Jordan <laughs> Pete has certainly done that, <laughs> bringing home some hardware in the form of a gold medal. So, reminder, these results are still unofficial. We'll bring those to you as soon as we know. Going to get the try to pick up on the PA announcer here. So there you have it, in third place, Ava Aubrey. Number 21, Team Ontario. Big jump for Ava, of course, had to jump onto the podium with her second run and nailed it. So Evelyn Mully from Alberta. In the silver spot. The big air. That's got to feel awesome for Evelyn, especially after this morning. Some disappointment in slope style. She finished 14th of the 14 skiers who went. She didn't get a clean run in. Made up for it, I'd say, with a silver medal here in big air. She's got to be very proud of that. And Jordan Pete, of course, from British Columbia. Winning gold here at the big air. What a jump she put forward. Earned this. And the smile says it all. Jordan's going to have a chance for double gold tomorrow. She'll be third last in the run order in slope style after a very consistent outing. She's just been incredible all day long. Maybe not the biggest tricks up until the very last jump in big air, but she has been rock solid consistent across all three heats that we've seen so far today. Huge and there, congrats to Jordan Pete on her gold medal. There's the celebration from Jordan Pete. Some hugs from not only teammates, but competitors as well. So there you have it. The results are in. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We are going to have the men's big air final coming up right here. You are tuned in to the 2023 Canada Winter Games. We'll be right back.